first time I grabbed a pole, it made me feel like a kid at the park. I like that it's fitness without realising as much that that's what you're doing. So you're doing a lot of strength work all the time and you don't really realise it. It's not like you're going to the gym and doing some pull-ups, which I like doing as well. But this is just a little bit different. It's it's dancing, it's, it's doing something that's fun without realising that you're exercising as much. It's the social element, like it's a lot more than just exercise and I don't really view it as exercise, it's, it's learning new skills and it's always something new. It's a good escape, it's a good stress relief. I'm in a class with other mums and we are all so supportive of each other. Even if I, I'm having a bad week or a bad morning, I've just been yelling at the kids and I come here, even if I'm not at my best performance, I still go away happy because I've had a good laugh with the teacher and the other girls. It's, um, yeah, fantastic. It's a good little self getaway, I suppose. I've loved many different things about pole dancing over the years because I've been doing it for a long time now. And I've established myself now as someone whose role is really to give pole to other people. And that's what I love about it. It helps a lot of people feel more comfortable and, and know themselves more, while at the same time then getting the functional fitness out of it, you get very strong, you get very fit, you get a great body. <laughs> um, and when I say a great body, I mean one that is uh, one that is more capable. I've always wanted to kind of join the circus, <laughs> so this is like my way of doing it. I keep sending my mum videos and being like, look, I can join the circus now and <laughs> doing something cool. <laughs> sometimes you nail it and sometimes you don't. That's the bit that keeps me coming back because I just want to keep achieving, keep going and keep working on something that makes me feel young and just having fun.